Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Mark Spider Guy here. Um, now, I'm going to do a rehousing video, but just before I start, uh, I'm going to show you my new addition. Um, I went to Wales yesterday with uh, my bro, bro Peter Webster to see uh, Leah Williams and Ellie Commander of Ellie's Book Babies and Leah of unusual pets um and you all know peter webster so if you haven't checked those channels out please do across and go across and subscribe to their channels that have all got amazing channels and you'll really enjoy their content right my new addition is what was gifted to me off leah and i can honestly say I'm over the moon and it's this little baby here which is my little corn snake and he's absolutely gorgeous his name's Jasper named uh, by Ellie and I love the little fella to bits and there you go guys Can't thank Leah enough for this little snake. Really nice thought. And thank you to Ellie for naming him. So, just going to put the little fella back now. Because I have just woke him up. So, I'm just going to put him back in his new enclosure. There he goes. Right, that's little Jasper put away. Right, now, like I said, this is going to be two rehousings, and the first one I'm going to rehouse is, when I get hold of it, my Armenia. Now, this one did actually come out the other day onto a Sandra's hand and then jumped onto my arm So we know that he's at a size now where he does need rehousing. He's actually in one one of these at the minute so I've got to Just change him from that and I'm putting him into that for a bit so A bit of a size difference Right, well I'll just get him sorted I'm just going to give this uh a pause a minute while I'm just going to get them down and then we'll get on with the rehousing. Right in guys, let's get on with doing this. Right. First thing I'm going to do is to put some substrate in. Now, I probably will put a bit more in but at the minute I think that's enough just to stand the cork bark in. I'm just going to give it a, a quick soaking because it is fairly dry. So I just want to give it a quick wet to dampen it down a bit. And just give that a move over. Now I'm going to put one just there. down a bit to hold it in place and the other one I'm going to put just next to it there so that has got room right I'm just going to get some more substrate and get the water bowls and then we'll get on with doing these 
and get this one transferred over. I can actually see her at the top there, so I don't know if you can just see her legs. No, she's gone back down. But we will get this done now, just get some more substrate. Hi right, guys, I've got them standing up in there. So, hopefully, it should be alright. I'm just going to put a bit more substrate in. Just to pack it down a bit more. But no doubt when it's webbed up, it'll be okay. This bushes. Half of the tops are there. Right. Now the little bugger is all ready to come out. I've got to put a water dish in first. So let me have a look, see if I've got any in this tub, which I'm hoping I have. Now just have a quick look in here. Some of my bits and bobs. with my skeleton leg she's got bigger space so uh, what I'll do I'll put that down there so she's got a water dish in there and I'll just swap this one over top it up She's got the bigger water dish now. So you can get back under there. Oh, it's now. There she is, guys, just ready to come out. So hopefully, I'm counting my chickens, hopefully, we might get this one come out and not have any too much issues no no she is actually just there Here she comes, so I'm hoping that she will go straight into there. She probably ain't gonna, but it's worth a try. Come on, you trouble. Come on. There you go. There she goes, <laughs> as she jumps in. <laughs> right then, guys. I don't know if you saw that, but she actually jumped into her new surroundings. And she's just there. I don't think you can see her. But she's just down there by the water dish. But that's number one. Get a lid on. There you go, that's the lid on that one. So that's that one done. Now the next one, I'm going to put in here. 
I will take the labels off in a bit. Now this one is going to be for my uh, summer pears porcher, porcher. Yeah, is there you say Panama blonde? So I'm just going to put this little piece of bark in and put some more substrate around that. I will pack that down twice to hold that in place. Now I've just got to find a milk bottle lid so I can pour a water in. I think it, if I'm going to have a bolter, I think this is going to be the one. So what I'm going to do is look for a milk bowl top, which I should have in this box over here. And there we have it. Right, so that's going to go where? There. Put that down. Make sure it's nice and flat. And put some water in. Now, I am going to put this inside a tub because I have got a feeling this is one that's going to try and bolt. So if she does, I'm hoping she'll bolt into the tub and stay in the tub uh, I know it's a bit of an ask but let's give it a go but like I say guys you can see the size difference in tubs so you know she, she should be alright in there And there she is, right at the top, just there. I don't know if you can see her just there. Now that's a mix of change. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that on there. And hopefully, she will go straight in. Now that's what I didn't want to do. Still, she's got to come out, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to start pulling things out bit by bit. actually see the spider just there so hopefully this might be more successful and there she is guys <coughs> now I was expecting her to bolt how wrong was I now I don't know if you can see her I know you can't see it very well, but if I tilt this camera back and see if we can get a view of her. Now, she is just on the bark in there. I don't know if you can see her. I think she's around about there. But that's that one done. There you go guys, two spiders rehoused and all upgraded into bigger tubs. Right, that's them two done guys. Right, uh, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy watching it, please do consider subscribing. 
give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you want to do. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And at that, I'm hoping to see a lot of you at uh, Bedford next week, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, meet all my friends up there. And don't forget, do subscribe to Ellie's Book Babies, Leah Louise Williams, Unusual Pets, and Peter Webster. Uh, well, just Peter Webster. I give them a sub. Give them a like. Do share it if you want to and at that guys i'm gonna say goodbye and hopefully see you at bedford see you all later guys bye <laughs>